Well, Siouxland farmers whose crops were damaged in Tuesday's storm are trying to figure out their next steps. They met today in Plymouth County. KCAU 9 reporter Jason Toctasian was there as well, and he has more. Jason. Tim and Sophie hail up to an inch in diameter mixed with winds gusting up to 70 miles per hour damaged a lot of crops Tuesday. That has Siouxland farmers, especially those in Plymouth County, looking for answers. Dozens of farmers showed up at Adam Schrader's farm to talk about the damage to their crops. Schrader and Bill Tenniger were among them. I had about 1,400 acres hit with hail. Um, some of it is a complete loss. It's down to the ground. Some of it will make some grain, but it, it's going to be a challenge to get it harvested, and it, the yields will be very poor. Actually, it, it uh, wiped out about half of my uh, corn production. Uh, I need the corn to feed to my hogs. I estimate about half of it is uh, either 75% uh, destroyed or, or totally destroyed. Joel DeYoung is with the Iowa State University Extension and Outreach Office. Well, we're just trying to give them hints to make a decision. Uh, number one is uh, what's growth and development of the plants, because stage of growth makes a difference on estimating what the yield loss is going to be. Uh, number two is we talk about how much stand is left, how many of those plants are left. Giving farmers hope at a difficult time. It's very valuable. You know, we're, we live in small communities here, and I had so many phone calls and text messages saying, hey, thinking of you, care for you, and it's just, that's what I love about small town. Some crops are covered by insurance for instances like this. Insurance companies are expected to begin assessing the crop damage as early as next week. Jason Taktagian, KCAU 9 News.